Hi, hello, this is Anoop here and in this video we are going to see a walkthrough of SSCM CM Pivot, SSCM 1806 production build. I'm in assets and complaints in device collections. I'm going to check all systems. I'm trying to go to desktops and servers collection and right click on that there are two options to launch cmp with one is right clicking on a particular device collection and launch it from here and otherwise there is an option in the ribbon over here to launch it are two options when you open up cmp with this would be your welcome screen there are two tabs as you can see one is query tab and the other one is home in the home tab you can see all the details like what are the entities supported these are the objects that can be queried from a client machine these are the entities at the moment supported if you go to query tab, for example if you want to run a query on a particular machine or particular collection the collection details are shown here in the bottom over here all desktop and server clients if i want to see entities and query all entities available as you can see this is a status page so one client is offline and zero failure at the moment it may take some time depending on your connection network connection this is my lab so it could be quick but in your production environment with lot of mission then it is uh, going to take uh, some time it's cmp with is querying uh, using fast channel mechanism which sscm uses nowadays so this is the result the results are coming with the state messages and uh, these results will be stored in a database uh, for a temporary time period i hope that is until you close the cmp bit. that is my assumption i am not sure about that so as you can see this is the result and um, you can see over here one id over here that is the reference id if you want to troubleshoot you can check this id in the logs okay and query completed on one of two clients one client is offline another query i run this collection is this one and i have run some other queries over here uses to find out the uses useful thing over here is if i put a pipe what are the options i i can put where and again after a space i can see the device name is coming up you can say device name equal to if i run the query another thing is it will automatically take the brackets it will automatically put the back brackets for us so we don't need to worry about that that is very very much uh, useful for it pros like us this is how we, you can run the query and there are other options like you can insert one particular entity objects over here if you want and if you want you can create a device collection from the list okay so test collection if i see this is a direct membership rule collection so you can create a collection and uh, you can do some action on it uh, later and even if you right click on the one of the device you can directly run a script for a remediation purpose if the, that is required and even there are options like uh, to export to csv and clipboard you can export it to the csv this is one of the csv i have already exported these are nice and quick options available in uh, cm pivot this is very useful thank you for watching bye bye